to look at what the correlations <laughs> are, because when I look at it as both a scientist and an occasional musician, I recognize that modeling is, is an interpretation. Um, one of my favorite quotes about modeling is that all models are wrong, but some are useful. And um, I suppose in the, the improv, you might say all are right, but some are more interesting than others. <laughs> what I work in the music and try to translate it into words, the linguistic words are very difficult for me. What I would like to express and what I would like to communicate, if I put it in words and languages, it's the most hardest tasks that I can face. But as a composer, as a musician, when living in the society, I should do this to some extent that I noticed very recently. So there's various things that I would like to do and inform or perform. The reason that this music that you just viewed came out in the COVID situation where everybody was in a daunting situation, everybody was looking down. And as a result, I wanted to encourage people and that has been crystallized in the music. And Mr. Tapio, Mr. Tapio has introduced us a lot of modeling and you say future would be this and that based on your modeling. But for me, I did not have anything that to foresee or predict what is going to be the outcome within the members that gathered. There were some people that they knew each other. However, for some members, it was their first time ever meeting and when they first encountered each other, some members felt, oh, we can get along very well. So that's atmosphere. And to the sound that they heard, it's not that they made great efforts to listen, but then the notes that they heard made them relaxing and make some movement or activity. So it was not something that was forced to do or what we intended to do consciously. So for my music, it's very important that people are moving in improvisation. I think I resonated with some things Kikuku said about improvisation and her piece and how it goes that, you know, there were, there are perhaps little clues passed from one to another and out of that emerges the music, the motion and the like. And you know, the climate system not so much modeling, but the system itself does that, right? There was a hurricane, I said, in Texas, Hervey. Um, we don't know, we cannot predict a few years from now whether there will be a hurricane in Texas or a, ty a typhoon in Tokyo. Um, that depends very much on the improvisation the climate system does with the broad conditions we give it, how much CO2 is in the atmosphere, small changes in what the atmosphere does, the famous butterfly effect. And so what, what we humans do to the climate system is give it broad conditions, how much CO2 is in the atmosphere. And within those conditions, the climate system has its own music on which, with which we have no control really. And we have, to, um, we have to listen to that music, live with that music and adapt to that music. What Lucy said, you know, all models are wrong, some are useful. Part of that reflects this chaotic nature of the climate system and its improvisation, right? We can say something about averages and probabilities, but we cannot say very much about individual hurricanes, typhoons, and that's where the improvisation inside the model is happening. There's still some right and wrong and the averages and probabilities, right? That's again, sort of the, the larger scale, the tune perhaps that we can get right or can get wrong. But what the climate system in the real world or in models does with it, it's very improvised and in many ways beyond our control. I'm gonna comment on that as a disaster scientist that the random nature of disasters is what makes them so frightening to us. And therefore it makes it difficult for us to get ready for them since we don't know when, we just know eventually, yes. Um, and I think that this is uh, one of the things that's really important as we 
face up to our newer reality is for people to understand the connection between the disasters and the climate. That the more carbon we put out, the more disasters we're going to be having. And that makes it a little more real, even if the time isn't. Um, there are connections, and I, but it's really hard for people to comprehend that there is that relationship that doesn't tell you this is happening today because of this reason. 